This is Dr. Jennifer Ashton, ABC News Chief Medical Correspondent, on shows like Good Morning America and World News Tonight. But I'm here to talk to you about something very personal. My husband of 22 years and the father of our teenage children died by suicide. I had to learn quickly how to keep living for myself and for my two children. And I found there were people on the same journey, people like you who are grieving a loved one from suicide or illness or sudden loss, and they shared my pain. It's a fraternity you're totally unaware of until you're entered into it. And it's a sad secret handshake that we had to learn. Oh my God, you feel like you have a big giant stamp on you. Nobody knows what to say. Nobody knows how to address you. You feel so alone. This podcast is a roadmap to survival. I remember just thinking at that time, our life will never be normal again. That speaks to finding courage, comfort, and community after sudden loss. And that's the reason why I talk about it publicly, because like, I don't want my father's death to be for nothing. I don't want him to have died and for us not to have learned any lessons. Together, talking with survivors and specialists in medicine, meditation, and faith to figure out ways to heal from a traumatic experience. Things aren't going to get better, but they may get lighter. We'll move through guilt, embarrassment, and hopelessness to a new normal. I was angry at my mom. I was angry at my dad. I was angry at the UPS guy. I used to feel like I used to call it like this free-floating sort of anger. In each episode, lessons of hope. As the sun came up, I felt my daughter Julia in me. I felt like she was alive in me. And she said, Dad, you have to get over this. You have to get over this. You have to get over yourself. Join me, join all of us, to find the light. Talking, 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 talking. Talk to your friends, talk to people you love, and it's like a magic trick. It's interesting how something so born out of rage and violence and violence and anger and horror has become something so important and strangely beautiful in my life. This is Life After Suicide with me, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Listen for free right here starting May 1st.